Um, my question is about um, soy milk and tofu um, as a source of protein. I've, I've read some other books that talk about um, that it actually has harmful effects, um, drinking soy milk and eating tofu. Is there any truth to that, or is there anything I need to be concerned about how much intake of that? Um, yes and no. Well, first of all, I've done a very extensive investigations with my staff and my research staff on investigating the relationship between soy and cancer. And, and there also is meta-analysis done on that subject as well. And the evidence is very, very conclusive. It's not controversial. There's no diverging opinions. It's very clear that this, as soy intake goes up in the diet, cancers go down, especially breast cancer. So there's no link between soy consumption and higher rates of cancer, even with patients who already have cancer. That's all myth. On the other hand, you know I teach that processed foods are not great. And that as a food becomes processed, it, becomes, it gets damaged. And I'm also teaching that variety of beans is important in a diet. And food variety is important too. So that means that we don't want a person to eat a lot of processed soy products. Maybe none would be better. But the less the soy is processed, the more it's a natural food, the more it's a whole food. And do I want soy to be the major bean you eat or the only bean you eat, or do I want you to eat a variety of beans? What do you think? Variety. Now, I don't, like for example, corn is an okay food too. But I don't recommend Kellogg's Corn Flakes or Frito-Lay's potato chips that are made from corn. So some soy is junk food, right? And you wouldn't want to make a diet mostly of corn and call it a good diet. Corn could be, you follow me? And also now I, at home, I use less soy now than I did before because I like hemp milk better than soy. You, know? you can buy unsweetened hemp milk, you can buy unsweetened hemp vanilla, and it's healthier than soy milk. You know? So it has a better fatty acid balance. You know? I'm not worried about the protein anyway, so I choose, I, you know, so there's either, okay. there's almond milk, you can make your own milk, so you could blend hemp and almond with water and soy and make your own mixtures. You know, there's all different options, but that's just to make a recipe convenient and not fear of using a little soy milk. It's not, you're not guzzling it all day long, you know.